हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो ऑफ ग्लाइफासेट रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट मीन्स हाउ वी कैन मेक ग्लाइफासेट रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट सो हेयर द ग्लाइफोसेट इट इज एन हर्बी साइट दिस इज एन केमिकल ग्लाइफासेट इज एन केमिकल दैट एक्ट एज हर्बी साइट एंड इट किल द वीड्स और अनवॉन्टेड प्लांट सो इट इज अ ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम हर्बी साइट एंड इट इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज ऑल्सो so if we want to use this glyphosate in our crop so how we can make our crop or plant resistance against this glyphosate so for this we have to understand the mechanism of action of this glyphosate that how it kill the weeds so this glyphosate it is a competitive inhibitor of a very important enzyme that is 5 enoyl pyruvate सिकीमेट थ्री फॉस्फेट सिंथेटेज दैट इज ई पी एस पी एस दिस एंजाइम इज अ इंपॉर्टेंट और यू कैन की एंजाइम इन द सिकीमिक एसिड पाथवे दैट अल्टीमेटली रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एरोमेटिक अमाइनो एसिड्स लाइक ट्रिप्टोफेन फिनाइल एलानिन एंड टायरोसिन सो एज यू कैन सी दीज टू आर द सबस्टेट सिकीमेट एंड फॉस्फाइनोल पायरुवेट सो दिस will ultimately this enzyme that is ep sp s it is in key enzyme involved in the formation of this enol pyruvyl sikimate three phosphate from the sikimate and phosphoenol pyruvate and ultimately now this enol pyruvyl sikimate three phosphate will be converted into aromatic amino acid that is tryptophan tyrosine and phenyl alanine so this is the normal process which go inside the plant but this glyphosate so as i told it is a competitive inhibitor of this enzyme that is epsp s enoyl pyruvyl sikimate three phosphate synthetase so it will ultimately inhibit this enzyme so as this enzyme is now inhibited so there will be no formation of aromatic amino acids and these aromatic amino acids are very much important for the plant cells so as they will not be there so plant cell will not be able to carry out its protein synthesis and it will die so this is the mechanism that how glyphosate kills the unwanted plant now what are the strategies we can adopt for producing the glyphosate resistance plant so first strategies so first was over production of target protein so here we can over produce the target enzyme so target enzyme is epsps so if we increase the copies of this epsps enzyme so we will have enough enzyme that after attacking by the glyphosate we still have enough enzyme to carry out the normal functioning so in the first strategy we just over express the gene of this epsps in our plant so this gene was generally taken from the petunia so as we isolated the gene from petunia and now introduce into our plant so by doing this we can increase the production level of this epsps enzyme in our transgenic plant and which will ultimately give resistance to the glyphosate so these plant they can tolerate glyphosate at a dose of 2 to 4 times higher than they require to kill the wild type plants the second strategy as that of use of mutant target protein so here we can use a gene that will ultimately make the target enzyme in the mutated form but functioning normally so here we can use the gene of mutated epsps that is enzyme which is a target of this glyphosate so as the gene that can be detected that was detected in the bacteria that is salmonella typhi murium so this gene was isolated and it it was transferred to the plants to make them glyphosate resistance so as the mutant eps gene was introduced wo into the tobacco plant the process was done by using the agrobacterium ti plasmid vector so this transgene it produce high quantity of enzyme epsps but that was in the mutated form so now the glyphosate is not able to inhibit this mutated epsps enzyme but this enzyme is working normally so in this way we just made our plant resistance against this glyphosate the third strategy is the detoxification of glyphosate so uh, similarly we can increase the detoxification of this glyphosate and for this 
the some microorganism they has an enzyme that is glyphosate oxidase this enzyme converts glyphosate to glyoxylate and amino methyl phosphonic acid so it just you can say neutralized or detoxify this glyphosate so what we did we just isolate the gene for this glyphosate oxidase enzyme and introduce into our plant so generally we take the gene from the soil organism that is ochrobactrum anthropy and with the suitable modification we introduce this gene into our plants and ultimately our plant is now become resistance against the glyphosate for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much